Hey, welcome guys. Welcome to Tony Porter's Tabletop Baseball Digest. Today what we're doing is um, we are using a different game today. Right? Let's see which one we're using here. Deep Drive Baseball. Yes, it is. All right, and we're replaying game three. It's at, uh, I'm using the I score as well to keep track of all my stats. We, we are playing in New York for three games. We played two games in, in uh, Arizona. They split. So it's 1 1 going into game three. In this game, it's going to be pitchers Brian Anderson, the lefty, versus Roger Clemens, the right hander. In this game, you roll three D10, and then I'll guide you along. All right, so as you can see, it's all set up. And here's the first pitch from Roger Clemens. And that's going to be a 20. So remember that 0 to 49 go off the batter's card. 50 to 99 go off the pitcher's card. That'll be a 20. A 20 is a swing and a miss, and he strikes out. I don't need a pen for this one. So I'm just going to put in a strike out there. All right, so counsel is out. And next is Steve Philly, the left-hander. Now, it tells you the players are lefties on the top here, right? And then these are the, I believe these are the injury letters. Okay? Here it tells you that the, and I'm going to teach you a very simple way to, to steal bases. As soon as we get somebody on, we're going to use the, the number of percent uh, in the parentheses. Show you how to do that. So let's uh, let's get a pitch for Philly, and that is an 80, so that's off the pitcher card. An 80 is going to be a defensive check, so we're going to the defensive boards. We are going to roll a couple of dice, red and white, and it's a 72, so that will be the defensive chart, and it could be an 8. It's a range play, right? A 72 is a range play. So it's to the shortstop. And we have to see the shortstop, Derek Cheater, what he's at. Derek Cheater's a one shortstop. And a one shortstop on a 72 allows a single to go by. So he does not reach it. So it's a single for Finley, and now it's, Finley's going to try to steal. So you can see how to do that. So he's a 10. Clemens' hold rating is a plus 2, so that makes him a 14. Now we got to look at Posada's card. Posada is going to be a minus 2. So it basically stays at 10. So we're going to roll um, 2... Let me go over it quickly. We're going to roll 2d10. All right. Throw the two dice and add them. 0 to 18. The sum is higher than the runner's safe number. They are thrown out of the steal attempt. So I'm going to roll two dice. If it's higher than a 10, he's out. And he is safe at second base. That's how quickly I do it. And let me explain why I do it that way. Um, the, the Basically... I monitor how many bases these guys stole, right? He stole 11 bases. He didn't steal a lot. So during the season, that's maybe two a month. So he will not be going a lot. And I know that. And as I'm playing, I look at that. But today, just for uh, demo purposes, I did that. All right? I showed you how to do it very simply. You can avoid getting the jump. All right. Let's continue now. It's going to be Luis Gonzalez. He's a lefty in the pitch. It's a 69, and that'll be a defensive uh, 69. Hold on. There, there it is. It's a strikeout. It's a strikeout. And up comes Reggie Sanders. Reggie Sanders hit 33 home runs, batted 263 that season. He's had a pretty good season. And it's a 40, 48. 48, 48, 48. It'll give us an out. What kind of an out? The green tells us it's the three. It's bounced the third. 
and that retires the side. So we got through half an inning with no score, and the Yankees are coming to bat here at Yankee Stadium. They will be facing Brian Anderson. Anderson, 4-9 four, four, and 5-20 ERA, so I don't see him doing too much. We'll see. It's Chuck Knobloch leading off. Here's the pitch. It's a 43, and that 43 falls within the out range. This is the green 7. Since it's a shallow fly racing in is Gonzalez out going Womack, and Gonzalez makes a sliding catch. They avoided the collision. I can't tell you how. So it's an F7. And that was all in the cards, by the way. The whole short fly ball to left field. Okay, here's Derek Jeter, one of the greatest of all time, 20. And he's hit by a pitch. Ouch, he gets plunked. So he will trot on down to first base, not rubbing it. And uh, did they use the Freon that they sprayed on the players back then? That's a good question. I don't know if they did or not. All right. So... Uh, Paul O'Neill with one out. Jeter's on at first. Let's see Jeter kind of steals he had. Stole 27 bases. So his he's a 14. Bryant is a zero. Bryant Anderson and then the catcher. Uh, Damian Miller is a minus three. So he goes to an 11. So let's, there goes Jeter, and he is safe. So he is safe. And on doubles, I think on doubles, you can check. Um, there could be a catcher throwing error on doubles. Damian Miller. Oh, no, his, his, it was zero, zero. His throw is zero. His catcher, I was just looking at his average number. So anyway, I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm going to look into that later. I just don't want to get caught up in that. I'm just kind of showing. Uh, so, so Jeter is, um, he's a 14 in parentheses. So that'll be his 14. He gets well within that number and he steals second base. All right, here comes Paul O'Neill. Pitch from Anderson, and that's going to be an 87. 87 will be an out. The five tells us it's a ground, hard hit ground ball to second base. That will move Jeter over to third. And two outs. Bernie Williams. Pitch from Anderson with a nine, uh, with a, a uh, 99. I gotta get used to the right colors, right? The green isn't red to last. 99, and that 99 is gonna be an out, a one. It's gonna be a pop up to middle infield, shortstop there. Makes the catch, and that retires the side. All right, let's keep on moving through this game a little bit. So it's gonna be a Rubio Durazo. And that's going to be a 70, uh, no, a 41. 41 is an out to seven. So it tells us it's a deep fly ball to right field. Going back is O'Neill to the track and makes the catch. Gets a nice round of applause from the right field crowd. Matt Williams. And that's going to be a 37, Matt Williams, 37. It's an out, out of an out. It's a line out to the first baseman. So it's ripped, hit it on the screws, but right at the first baseman. Next is Mark Grace, the lefty. And it's going to be a 10. And that's going to be a base hit, little ground ball through the right side, and he will be on at first. His steal base rating is a one, so he only stole one base that whole season. Next is Damian Miller. Pitch from Clements, uh, twenty-seven. Twenty-seven is going to be defensive check. 
defensive check. And that's a 73. And a 73 goes to shortstop again. And the cheater is a single. So Mark Grace is going to be first to third. Unless Grace is like really slow. And we have, then we have to look. Uh, he is slow. So we're going to have to look at the advancement chart. It's easy to memorize the advancement charts. Okay, here it is. Uh, slow is a question mark, so I would have to roll this out to third. If there's one out, I will. With two outs, I won't. I'm going to hold them. So it's a single. Okay, so what happened? Damian Miller hits the line drive single. Okay, and that brings Tony Womack here in the top of the second inning. No score. Tony Womack against Roger Clemens pitch. And that is going to be a 50. A 50 takes us to the deep drive chart. Right, the deep drive chart. We're going to have to roll 2 D10s. Now the six on the ballpark card against a lefty batter, it's going to be a home run. So let's see where it lands up on his card. We're going to use that six. 31. 31 is going to be a double. Okay, so had it been a home run, which he really... Uh, can't hit one this way off his ballpark card. It would have been a home run on the ballpark. All right, so it's going to be a double. And um, let's check Damian Miller. Damian Miller runs slow on a double. Let's see. Okay, here it is. So it's a double. A slow runner cannot advance two bases. Okay, with two outs, shift one column to the right. So what, what that means is that, yes, uh, on a double, it's going to be a question mark to try to score them. That means we have to go to the choice chart, and we're going to use the choice chart just to teach us all how to do it. <coughs> all right. This is the choice chart here. Feeling ready. Out. And it's all fine. It's not the one there. Not the one there. One ready. All right, we're going to fly outs. I saw it earlier. Okay, so here we go. So we're going to roll for the choice chart to try to score. On a double, Tony Womack pulls one down the line, and we're going to try to score Damian Miller. And it's a 54, 54, 
50 foot and he's safe. So two run double. One scores, another score. And uh, he's held up. Tony Womack with a big, huge clutch. Two, two out, two run double against Roger Clemens, who's not happy right now. So expect the next batter to get plunked. All right, here it goes. And that's a 16, which will be a base on balls. So council walks. Posada's going to go talk to Clemens. Fian Finley, here's the pitch. And that's a 73, and a 73 is a strikeout to end the inning. So... Clemens blows a fastball by Finley, and the Yankees uh, trail it 2 nothing. Tino Martinez is going to lead off against Brian Anderson. Now, this is the, the distance that they could go. It's called starter, and then there's a number. See that? So I'm going to teach you how to do that in a second. They're still good. They're still in the second inning, so. and a lot of runs have to score. Here's a pitch to Martinez. And that's going to be a 10, which is a ground ball up the middle and through into center field. Played by Finley. And Martin is not a threat to steal, so we don't have to worry about that. Jorge Posada, the pitch. And that's a 46. And a 46 is going to be an out, a 5. Hard hit ball to second base. That's going to go 4, 6, 3. Double play. They turn it 4, 6, 3. Yes, sir. -y. So it's a hard ball hit at one of the infielders, it turns into a double play. And Jay, uh, Shane Spencer with a 61. That's going to be a base hit. Line one to left, played by Luis Gonzalez on a, on a hop. Spencer forced on the bases and 300 bats, so he's not doing that right now. Scott Brocious, pitch. 71. 71 is defense again. So we will roll. And here's our 2001. Every season has its own defensive chart. So just be aware of that 44 is going to be, uh, mm -hmm. still goes into the range check. It's going to be against our pitcher. Our pitcher, Anderson, is fielding a four. So 44, four. And it's going to be a little tapper that Anderson gets to, whips it to first, and not in time. He bottled it for a split second, didn't get a good grip on the ball, and somehow Spencer, I'm sorry, Brocious, got to first. All right, so first and second for the Yankees here with two outs in the bottom of the second inning using deep drive baseball, and uh, also my companion, my helper, all right, I score. Luis Gonzalez, I'm um, sorry, Alfonso Soriano is up, and here's the pitch from Anderson. It's a 40, and a 40 is going to be an out, zero, it's ripped and caught by the second baseman, Craig Council, to end the inning. So the Yanks had a big opportunity there, but let it go down the wayside. So leading off against Clemens here in the top of the third is Luis Gonzalez. Now, these cards are great if, for whatever reason, you're like me and you don't see very well, you use glasses and so on, and lighting affects how you see, so you need bright lights all the time. These cards are very, very, very easy to read. That's really nice, okay? You can compare this to this, right? You can co you know, you compare, compare this to this. This is super duper tiny. This is ginormous. That's a pitchy, pitching card, but just very small compared to. So, anyway, all right, but they're still good fun games. So, but if you don't see very well, this, this really works. All right, let's see. Luis Gonzalez, let's get a pitch from Clemens. That's going to be a 98 and a 98. Nothing there. Got, in the 90s, you always got to look here. It can be a special event. 98, but these are with runners on base, like a pickoff, wild pitch, balk. If there's nobody on base, I just go 98, it's a 7, it's a fly ball left, one away. Moving over is Spencer, and he 
squeezes it for out number one. Here comes Reggie Sanders. That's a 33, and that's defense. Going to roll again, and that is 97. That takes us to the right fielder, who's O'Neill. Let's see what O'Neill is, and we'll know. O'Neill is a two and right, and that two and right. What do we roll? Uh, 97. Now that's going to be a little blooper that drops in front of O'Neill. So Reggie Sanders is on. He had 14 stolen bases. During the year, so you can steal one here. Let's do it. What's his number? His number's a nine. Number's a nine. And uh, we're plus two, minus two. Posada is a minus two. Let's double check that. Because I think I misread that. Yeah, he's not. So it's a it's a plus two. So Sanders goes to an eleven. So there he goes, the throw down, and he is out. Out of second base. Two All right, that's simple. All you have to do is use the number of parentheses. Forget the other number in the jump. You don't need that. If, if you can control yourself, right? If you know that you can't control yourself, then you better get jumps all the time because that means that the guys that should have a lot of stolen bases will. I usually just calculate in my head. You know, if he has, there's six months of baseball. If he has six stolen bases, that's going to be like one attempt, right? Uh, one stolen base per month. And then I, I, I add up all the attempts, right? So if he had 10, if he had 12 attempts, that's two attempts each month. Now, that would be it. All right. Uh, Rubio Durazo is from Clemens. That's a 99. No, it's a 69. 69 is a swing and a miss. And Clemens strikes him out. Matt Williams, uh, nope, goes to the Yankees. Chuck Matlock leading off against Brian Anderson. It's 2-0 Diamondbacks. The series is tied at one apiece. This is game three. That's a 22, and 22 will be defensive check. And a 90 will be a single unless our center fielder is a 5 or a 4. Phil was, from memory, Phil was a pretty good center fielder. Five or four. He's a three, so the ball drops in. So a liner in front of, from that block in front of Philly does not get there. All right. And now it's going to be Derek Jeter. And that's a zero eight, which is going to be a base hit single. Not block is considered blank. So let's see, advance on a single, on a blank, it's going to be a no. So it's first and second. And you pretty much, after playing, I haven't played this in a year, once you start playing, getting into the flow goes much faster. And so it's first and second with nobody out and Paul O'Neill. Probably Paul O'Neill's last season. And that's going to be a 53, which is going to take us to his deep drive chart. And we're going to use that 8 for the ballpark. That's against the lefty. It's a possible home run. If he hits home run, it's a home run. A 46 on his card is, oh, misses the, the, the home run. And the 46 is going to be a double. So the double, nobody out. We're going to just score one and hold the other. Even though, yeah, Cheetah was average speed. And I'm just, there's nobody out, so I'm just going to do that. So the Yankees have picked up one, two to one, and now uh, it's Bernie Williams to bat. So let's quickly look at how many he's got. He's got one, two, three, four through the lineup once. He's given up a run, that's four. So he's got three innings, that's three points. Then he's gone through the lineup once, turned it over once. That's four. He's given up a run. That's five. He has not given up five consecutive base, uh, um, allowed five consecutive men to reach base. So he is a nine, so he's got plenty of way to go here. Bernie Williams. Now I'm thinking I'm considering he's a switch hitter. So 
Here's a picture. And that's a zero seven, and that's going to be a base hit with a plus sign. And O'Neill, O'Neill is a blank, so that plus sign is going to probably let him score. The plus sign, let's see. Um, yes, he is going to score. So the Yankees have taken the lead on a two run single, a rope to center by. Ernie Williams. And here comes Tino Martinez. So it's three to two now. And it's going to be a 68. 68 is going to be defense. Uh, yeah. With a 68 is going to be defense. It's a 48. 48 is to the first baseman. First baseman, Mark Grace, is pretty good. I understand. He's a three, so a 48 and a three. It's a single. That's a single, and Bernie will stop in second. Yeah, Bernie's average, he will stop in second. First and second. So it's a ball that, uh, um, what do we say, 40, 48. First baseman just cannot get to. It's past his glove, and he runs to pick it up. Okay, so here's Jorge Posada. So how are you getting, uh, how are you feeling about this game so far? How it flows and uh, so forth. You get every player. It's $15, I think, for a whole season. Um, and, you know, make some comments. Let's let's hear about your, your thoughts. Uh, Jorge Posada. That's going to be a 67. A 67 is a strikeout. So Posada with a big strikeout for Anderson to help Anderson out. Big swing, unnecessarily so, especially with two strikes. Here's Shane Spencer. Spencer had a crazy season. He had 10 home runs and batted uh, 258. I, I'm not sure. It was the 98 season where, where he had a crazy season, crazy card. Anyway, here goes Shane Spencer. And that's a 36, which will be an out. What kind of an out? It's a fly ball, center field, Finley on the run, and he tracks it down for the second out. Now, Bernie Williams is average. Fly ball to center. Let me see what it says. Fly ball to center. Yeah, he does not advance to uh, to third. Okay. So next is Scott Brocious, right-handed hitter, batted uh, 287 with 13 home runs in the not in the 2001 season. Here's the pitch, 98. Ooh, 98 is going to be an out. Five is bounced. You know, hit hard. Ripped a one hopper to Council. Picks it up over to first, and that retires the side. But not before the Yankees come back with three. So this is uh, shaping up to be a good game. Raji Clemens. It's going to be a 66 and struck him out. Blew a fastball by Williams. Next up is Mark Grace with a 39. 39. Will be an out, a three, it'll be bounced to third. Roche is up with it, fires a strike to Martinez at first for the second out. And uh, Damian Miller. Damian Miller is one for one with a single. Here is a zero eight. Zero eight is another single. They said. All right, Tony Womack. Uh, I'm sorry, no. Let's go and do that. Where's oh. Should be redo. Should be Tony Womack up oh, now. There it is. All right, and the pitch. It's a 59, and that's going to be a base hit single. Damian Miller. Uh, he's going to move up one so because he is always slow. He moves to average. 
Um, there's the average, and that was a 59, which is the plain single, so he will, no, he will stay. Stops at second. And it's Craig Council. Here's um, Clemens gets the sign from Posada, and he's ready. It's a 29. 29 is an out. A zero is a line out to the second baseman, Soriano. And they leave a couple of men on. The score is still 3-2 to two Yankees. We're in the bottom of the fourth. Let's make it to the fifth. My nose is itching like crazy. I don't know why. All right. Does that mean I'm going to get money or something? Soriano's up with a 25. A 25 will be a strikeout. Anderson gets him with the curve. No block. Not block. He's one for two with an 83. And a five. Bounced hit hard to second. Play is made by Council, and here's Derek Jeter. Jeter's one for one, and a hit by pitch with 99. 99 will be a nine, which will be a deep fly ball. Center field, backing up Finley to the track, and makes the catch. That was a super quick inning. Finley leads off here in the top of the fifth. It's an 84, and an 84 will fall into the category of an eight fly ball. Center field, shallow center field. Rushing in is Bernie Williams, and he makes a nice running catch. He took a step back, so it made it a little bit harder than it needed to be. But that's one out. Here comes Luis Gonzalez. And it's a 46, so that will be an out. And eight is lifted to left center. Spencer moving over, and he gets under it to make out number two. And here is Reggie Sanders, the pitch, and that is a 96. 96 will be an out. The nine is a fly ball, shallow center field. Again, Bernie racing in, and he makes the nice running catch. All right, bottom of the fifth. Paul O'Neill leads off against Brian Anderson. 40, and on O'Neill's card, that's going to be a fly out. Can of corn to center field, Finley. Bernie Williams is next. And that's a 43, and that'll be a five. Hard hit grow up ball up the middle. Comac gets there, spins, fires to first in time. Kino Martinez. Martinez is two for two. And a red and away to 60, and that's going to be three for three. Base hit. Lines went over the second baseman's head. Two outs, two outs single for Tino Martinez. He replaced Don Manley at first base. Jorge Posada, pitch 36, and that's going to be a defensive check. And it's a 0 1, and that is going to be an error on the second baseman, E4. So we've got Shane, Shane Spencer coming up. Runs on first and second, two outs. Pitch from Anderson. And it's going to be a 1-5. One 1-5. Five. One five. There's a swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that ends the inning. Top of the sixth. It's going to be Durazo versus Clemens. Now let's go and take a look. Let's count them up again. I wish I could, knew how to make this. Oh, okay, I want to make this larger, but I want to make it like the full screen. No, that doesn't do it. I want to make it the whole. Yeah, okay, here it is. So uh, if we're looking at um, Clemens, how Clemens is doing, Clemens can, has nine. Uh, what is it? Eleven points. So he's got one point, two point, three point, four point, five points. Each inning is a point. Now every time he goes through the lineup, he's in in his third round. So he loses um, 
two. So he's got one, two, three, four, five, or he gains another. So five plus two is seven. He's given up a run that's eight. He's an 11, so he's still got three. After this inning, after the next inning, he will have another point that he subtracts. And that's how it goes. So both both of these guys are still pretty good. I'll have to take a closer look at, uh, at Brian Anderson. All right, I have to look at uh, Brian Anderson because he's got a nine. He's got nine points versus uh, Roger Clemens' um, eleven. So, Clem, the higher the number, the the more they, the deeper they go into the games. All right, here's Durazo. Nobody out. Clemens against Durazo. That's going to be a thirty-four, and that is defensive check again. Against who? A zero seven. And that's going to be the pitcher. The pitcher's number, Clemens, is a fielding three, and that will be a fielding three. Will be what is it? Zero seven. That's a boot. He boots it. So an error on Clemens. He's angry with himself. Matt Williams is next. Steps to the box. Good power. 16 home runs, 275 average. Missed a lot of games. And it's a 64, which will be swing and a miss. And he strikes out. Next up is Mark Grace. Pitch and a 70 will be another strikeout. Back to back. This time it's the curveball that gets him. So Clemens is heating up. And here is Damian Miller with a 45. And a 45 will be a 7 out, which is lifted to shallow. Left field, Spencer positioned perfectly. He makes the catch. And we go to the bottom of the sixth inning, playing deep drive baseball. I'm finishing the 2001 World Series, one of my favorite World Series. I remember every inning, every game. I remember where I was watching the final game. Whoa, that was intense. Scott, that was a 9-11 seed that year. Scott Brocious. Oh, we're going to check that, like we said, right? We want to... Where was that? There it is. Okay. <clears throat> Scott Brocious has gone five. He's given up a run at six, and he's gone through the lineup twice. So that's eight. So he's on after this inning. He is going to be out. Uh, 78. 78 is a good number for him, for uh, Anderson. That's a six. And that is a ground ball to short. Scoops it and fires a strike to the first baseman, Mark Grace. Played with the Cubs a long time. Here's Alfonso Soriano. 96. 96 will be another out. The seven is flat to left. Out and here comes Chuck. Chuck not block, and he's one for three on the day with a single pitch. A 74. 74 will be an out, kind of an out of three. It's pulled down the line. Nice backhand by Williams, long throw to first in the dirt, scooped out by Grace, and the inning's over. So we got the line score is 3 9 1 for the Yankees and 2 7 1 for the Diamondbacks. Here's Roger Clemens against Tony Womack. It's going to be a 33, which will be a nine fly ball center field. One down. Craig Council is next with a 41. That'll be an out. And a three is a bouncer to the first baseman. If that's a one or a two, I make it a three to one fearless choice. Because it happens about 30% of the time, approximately. And here's Steve Filling. And it's a 91. A 91 would be a wild pitch if there's somebody on there. There's nobody there. So the 91 goes here. It's an out. It's a zero. It's a line out to short. And we're in the bottom of the seventh inning. Derek Jeter leads off. Now, Anderson, I believe, is fatigued. Let's take a look. He can go nine. He's got nine points. He's gone six innings. He's gone through the lineup three times. That's nine. 
So he's, and plus he's given up a run, which is 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Through the lineup. Twice, that's 7. Runs, that's 8. So he's out. So we're going to bring in a new pitcher. Who's it going to be? We're going to see now who it's going to be. I'm trying to stick to who actually played in these games. I actually wrote them down on the card. Just to make my life easier playing the game, you know? Let's see if I can find those pitchers. Okay. Pinch hitters. Randy Johnson. Delucci. Batista had two. Whit had one. Kim. Mike Morgan's coming in. Three in relief. All right. Mike Morgan's coming in. Wrong place. Should have Mike Morgan written in. There he is. So he's coming in. And he can go as relief. We can go one inning. Unless certain things happen. So we'll see. All right. Uh, I usually just simplify it and make it one inning. So, uh, I would have to look at the rule on the on the reliever. Oh, I remember that that rule. Okay, he's coming at the beginning of the inning, so he doesn't get that opportunity for the going the extra inning. All right, here's Mark uh, Mike Morgan against uh, Derek Jeter. Start off the bottom of the seventh, and that's an eighty-five, which will be coming out a pop-up right side. First baseman Grace, he's there in fair ground, makes the catch. Paul O'Neill is next. And it's a 94. And that's a, a 6. Uh, a rip to short of Tony Womack. Over to first. Two away. And here's Bernie Williams. With a 57, that is going to be line base hit. He rips one to left center field. And Williams stole 11 bases, so we're not going to go with him. Here's Tino Martinez now. The pitch, and it's a 40, which will end up being an out with the zero. That's ripped and caught by Mark Grace. And ends the inning. And Luis Gonzalez is leading off against Roger Clemens. Let's check Roger Clemens. So he's gone seven through the lineup three times. That's ten. Plus he's given up a run. Has he had three innings cons of consecutive, consecutively retiring everybody? No. That would give him a plus. Okay. So then he is done. So we are going to the Yankee bullpen. Yes, we are. Four games. Cleander, Justice, Green, Wilson, Soho. Ramiro Mendoza pitching card. He had two games. And those were. Oh, hmm. Some players here have an X, that means they didn't play. Randy Choke. The lefty who's coming up. So they're going to bring in Randy Choke. All right. Randy Choke comes in. And uh, he faces Luis Gonzalez. Here he goes. 35 is on Gonzalez's card, but it's the Sif. Hard hit ball to second base. 4 3. One down. Good pitch by Choke. Got him to knock it into the ground. And here's Reggie Sanders. It's a 55, and that's going to be ball four. So Sanders walks, and uh, that puts the tying run on base now here in the top of the eighth inning. 
with uh, with Dubial Durazo up. Oh, wait a second. That's an L versus an L. So this is going to be read only. Oh, see, his red is circled. This is going to be read only off of the pitcher's card. So what we may want to do here is bring in a pinch hitter. He's playing DH anyway. So we're going to bring in a guy named Danny Batista to pinch hit because we don't want the lefty, circle lefty. He's like a lefty specialist type that only uh, pitches against right, uh, bats against righties. So Danny Batista's right there. And he's in the ball game. He'll stay, stay in a DH. All right, here's the pitch. And that's a 0-0. Zero, zero. So this is going to be trouble. This is going to take us to the deep drive chart. Okay. Um, we're going to use that four. So that four, he is a righty. So the four is actually a fly ball to left field. So if he hits a home run, um, which it doesn't mean he can here. Um, and the park would be a fly ball, right? A fly ball. All right. So let's just roll to see what we got. So we got a double, a triple. An 80, and 80 is going to be a fly ball to left field. All right. So that's it. With, oh, no, there's two outs now. And here comes Matt Williams against Randy Choate. Another. Oh, no, that's the same one. All right, Matt, Matt Williams is righty versus lefty. So Matt Williams has no advantage here unless Matt Williams was circled righty. And then I think he has to be a circle lefty. I don't know. I can't remember exactly. But it's not. It's not neither of those things. A 58 is a base on balls. Again, another walk. So Cho does not have great control. So now the, the tying run and the go-ahead runner on here in the top of the eighth inning. Mark races up. But he's a lefty. But we're going to let him swing because he's a, he's a wily veteran. And he may walks base on balls. So, boy. So, Choate has loaded the bases with how many out? With two outs. And you know what we're going to do? Do you know what we're going to do? I think you do. We're going to go to Mariano Rivera for four outs. See what happens. All right. Mariano's in. And he's facing uh, Damian Miller, a righty. The catcher now. Do I have another? I probably have a second catcher. I got a lefty pinch hitter that could hit Mariano. A lefty, lefty specialist. They call it platoon advantage. Off the top of my head, I don't uh, I just have one page where all this information, I can find this information easy. Deep drives, park effects, run of access, stealing bases, outs, playing in, line outs, um, pitch endurance. Uh, uh, we're looking for splits. Where are splits? Oh, hand, pitcher handedness. Okay, we set a player for R indicates, so we L indicates, and then. Uh, well, when do we get the. Mariano's a straight up righty. And we're trying to see. Okay, so there's no advantage. So we can still bring somebody in who has a better, like this guy has a better average. Uh, right hander against a lefty. It's not going to hurt anybody. So we're going to bring in Cummings. Cummings played in a couple of games. Should be there somewhere. Did I write him now? No. 
shortcomings. Let's create them. Midre or Midre. Cummings. He's a lefty and he's ready. Ready to rumble. And he will, uh, oh, he's not a, he's just a pinch hitter, not a position player. So we will have Rod Barajas coming in to play that position. All right, so here's the pitch. Bases are loaded, two outs. The Diamondbacks at Yankee Stadium trail three to two. And uh, at the plate is Maidre Cummings, a left-handed hitter for um, if Mariano was a, a circled right-handed pitcher, the lefty circ circled would take an advantage. That means any result would be read off his card better than the pitcher's card, right? Here's a pitch from Mariano. Okay, it's a 72, and a 72 is going to be a fastball that blows past Cummings, and the inning is over. All right. Oh, I don't want to do that. That's my main man there. All right. And then we're going to get a position replacement there. Rod Barajas is coming in. He is a catcher for... See if we have Barajas. We see Barajas anywhere. Did I write him in? I may not have written him in yet. All right, Barajas. Rod. Sometimes I will not see him. And then... Uh, have them twice, and then I have to, that's a mess. I don't like that happens. All right. That's the name of the uh, airport in Spain. Manas. Okay, he comes in. I didn't grab his, oh yeah, everything's good. Okay. Jorge Posada leading off. He's a switch hitter. Back from the left side against Mike Morgan. Now, Mike Morgan should be out because he went an inning already, right? Yeah, so uh, we're going to grab somebody else here. Oh, here they are. So, Badajas will be in there somewhere. There he is. And we're going to look for pitchers. So we're going to bring Greg Swindell. All right, that's going to, Posada is going to turn around because Swindell is a lefty. Rose left. Okay, that's right. All right, so Swindell is a lefty. And Posada, is he, do I have him down as a switch hitter? Yeah, I do. I don't know. He's just not turning around automatically. He's playing from the left side. I don't know why. Okay. So uh, there is no advantage. Uh, it's a righty batter versus a lefty pitcher. There is no advantage on that. Pitcher, uh, batter gets the advantage when it's a left-handed specialist batter faces a right-handed specialist pitcher. Or right-handed specialist batter, so he would have to be a specialist, and he's not against a left-handed specialist pitcher. Okay, and there's no advantage for that. Okay, so let's move on here. Here's the pitch to Posada with a ten, and that's going to be a ground ball up the middle and through into center field. So Posada is on there with the winning run here in the bottom of the eighth. No, the well, an insurance run, which is quite important. Shame Spencer, so do we bring a pinch hitter, hmm, a pinch runner? I don't know. Here's Shane Spencer. This is a home run ballpark, and that's what we're waiting for. 95, 95, 95 is an out. Ooh, a line out, five. Uh, to left side. Oh, I can't remember the roll. I know line outs. Let me see quickly the rule on the lineouts. Uh, outs, lineouts, let's see. Let 
Line outs. Okay, line out rule coming off a percentile dice. Change the result to L1 on a 90, a 49, or 99. No. Uh, change the result to L1 on any line out to any position we win on base in less than two hours. Reroll the percentile dice 0 to 9 on a runner's double dice. All right. 0 to 9. No. All right. So, no, he's not doubled up. So, it's going to be an L5. And uh, Scott Brocious against Greg Swindell. Here's a pitch. And that is an 84, which will be an out to three. Bounce to first. Out number two. And Alfonso Soriano. So now he's ready. He gets a sign from Barajas. And pitch. And that's a 21, which will be a strikeout to end the inning. So big inning for Swindell. And that brings up Tony Womack. We want Mariano to go one more inning. He can do that. He's a closer with one. But if you can get one or two... Um, like, let's see where he came in. He came in and struck the bases with load. He struck out the guy. So if you get one or two outs in that inning where you come in, that half inning, you can still pitch an inning in the next uh, inning. All right, so here's Tony Womack. And that's going to be a 28, and that is an 8, which is a fly ball to left. One away. Craig Council now. A 71, and that'll be strike three. He's out of there. Heads back to the bench, and Steve Philly with a 96, and that'll be a zero. That'll be ripped and caught by the first baseman, Tino Martinez, L3. We go to the bottom of the ninth. Can't get a game any better than this. So I suggest you try this game out for sure. Oh, that's the end of the game. Excuse me. That's right. I thought it was tied and we're going to extra innings. Game is over. Final score, 3-2. Uh, it's 3-11-1, 9 left on base for the Yankees, and 2-7-1 uh, and 9 left on base for the Diamondbacks. The Yankees take a 2-1 lead in the series. Now we're going to go back one, and we're going to put in the win. The win goes to Clemens. Um, and the save goes to Mariano. You can do a hold for Chode, I guess. I don't know. I don't really do that too much. Okay, and then the loss will go to Brian Anderson. And that's it, folks. I hope you enjoyed the game. And we're going to come back with game four at New York. Three games in New York. It was two games in Arizona, three games in New York, and the last two are back in Arizona. And I'll get. A, I'm going to leave this out because I'm going to have another one tomorrow. I, I st you start getting into the flow, and it starts moving faster and faster, and it just has a really, really good, simple rhythm to it. I had to look up stuff, like I said, that that's normal when you haven't played a game in over a year. You're a little bit rusty on certain things, but uh, that's it, guys. I will see you super duper soon. Sound good? All right. Take care.